Hi guys, here's the next part of the Unity Low Poly game tutorial in which I will add a simple UI for the inventory. The character will be able to collect items like this X, which will be added to the inventory when he collects them. Ok, so the first thing we need is a UI canvas that you can name HUD for example. I set the canvas scaler to scale with the screen size, as reference resolution I use 1080p. As a child of the canvas I create a panel and set the color to a dark tone. I set the alignment to bottom and the size to 910 to 100. As a source image you can assign any kind of sprite. I stick to this sprite as background and move the panel down to the bottom. Ok, great, now I call this inventory and the inventory will have 9 slots. As background for one slot you can use an image object, set the size to 80 and use a dark tone for this. Each slot will have a border, this is also an image object with the same size and I created an image for this with a transparent background and a white border. I convert this to a sprite 2D and in the sprite editor I set all borders to be 4 so that this white borders won't be scaled when the UI image of the object is scaled. I assign the sprite to the border image and here you can see when I change the size in the editor, the white border will always have a constant thickness. Now the last thing we need is the item itself, another image object as child of the border and it will contain images of collected items like this X here that are painted and that are also convert into a sprite 2D. Now I assign this to the item image object and set the size to 64. The advantage of having a separate background for one slot is that you can define the background color for it. I'm going to use a dark grey as background. Ok, to be able to select an item we need a button that I assign to the background object and the highlight color I change to this blue color and when I start now you can see that when I hover with the mouse over this item it is highlighted and also keeps this color when it is selected. Alright, then let's select and duplicate this slot item. And by default it doesn't have an image, so we can set this to none and disable it. Now to lay out the slots on the inventory panel, I assign a horizontal layout group and set the child alignment to middle center for force expand I keep width and height. And when I add now new items by duplicating the default slots, you can see how they align nicely on the panel. Ok guys, that's it for the UI part of the inventory, which is more a kind of quick access. And in the next tutorial I will show you how to actually add items to this inventory, so stay tuned to not miss the next part. And if you like my channel don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching this and thanks for your support if you support me on my Patreon and see you soon here on JNM.